Hi guys, in this video I will be talking about the Dell Precision 5560 laptop. And this is a laptop I have used for about 12 months and I think um, I'd like to talk about it as an interesting laptop to own um, for anyone um, within um, the media and content um, creation um, department and you need something that could uh, handle some work anywhere between basic to um, intermediate. This is a laptop I've used for almost 12 months. I got it off, um, I got it used off the market and um, I can tell you every um, bit of um, use and day with it has just been um, great. I don't regret buying this and I would like to talk about it for anyone that is thinking of um, getting such. Now, let's dive right into it. The processor punches um, a little bit of power at about 2.5 gigahertz, and it's an 11th gen processor. Um, this is not one of the um, slow battery optimized um, um, kind of processor. This is something that carries um, a lot of power for um, you know, its, um, its range. And by the way, this is a workstation, not a gaming laptop, though it will be able to handle a couple of gaming, but it's um, kind of like noteworthy to know that general power rating of workstations, they tend to be a little bit slower than um, gaming um, machines. Anyway, so um, after the processor, I would like to talk about the RAM. You can max um, the RAM out to about 64 gig and um, it uses a DDR4. When I got the laptop, I got it with a 16 gig and I um, increased it to 32 gig. Also important to mention that most applications um, in recent times, the OS and applications, most of them relate very well with nothing less than eight gig. So you shouldn't even be buying a system less than eight, um, with anything less than eight gig uh, memory now. And this is just my opinion. You could have anything um, other than that and that's fine. You can drop it in the comments, share with me uh, what you feel different. But I feel you shouldn't be buying anything with less than eight gigs of memory um, now and for optimal um, use on most um, systems. So um, of course, the more the merrier. It came with 16 gig, which should be able to handle a lot of work. But because of course I do a lot of things on my laptop and I know that um, you know I usually would um, do well with more memory, I increased it to 32 gig immediately. And for the um, storage, um, this was a, was a surprise because I, in as much as I did a lot of readings about the laptop before I actually purchased the laptop, I had no idea that it had um, two slots for NVMe. So which automatically, this just means that you could, um, you have more space to um, expand um, storage. So it came with 512 for, um, it came with a 512 gig for startup and um, upon wanting to upgrade it to one terabyte, I realized that it had two slots so all I did was just to put in one terabyte in the other um, slot so I have a total of about 1.5 gigs of um, storage within the laptop and of course if there was any reason for me to um, crank it up again all I have to do is take out the 512 or the or the um, one terabyte and replace it with maybe two terabytes of um, storage. Um, another thing I would like to I scribble down a couple of um, cons which are the things I really don't like about the laptop before I go to the cons, I should mention that um, it was, um, I think it was produced about mid um, 2020. And I did mention the processor is the 11th gen. The graphics card in it, it's, it's a four gigs um, an NVIDIA T1200. Um, there are other variants that come with um, range or other um, models of, of, of the NVIDIA. I know there's one that comes with the um, T2000 and um, I'm not quite sure of any other one, but. You know, there are other variants of the same laptop. I am just talking about the variant that I have and um, how well it's been um, so far. There are two most, I would say, really disgusting or horrible things about the laptop. One is the webcam. I don't know why they would have thought it at that time of production that a 720 re resolution um, webcam made any sense. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. I don't see why they um, put that kind of webcam on the laptop. It's um, it's. It's, it's rubbish, absolute rubbish, really. So the next thing I want to talk about is the trackpad. And um, it looks beautiful until you start using it, then you realize that it's just, it's freaking too big. Why is a trackpad that, trackpad that big? And the reason why I say it's too big, it's too big, it's too wide. Um, as, you type, as you start to type on the laptop, you realize that every now and then um, your, your palm your palm starts to um, you know rest on the trackpad while you're trying to type and it you know clicks on things and you know it kind of like 
annoys you basically so um, you kind of like have to be extra cautious while using the, um, the laptop on your lap or you take it out and you're on the go basically and you're trying to use it even while on the desk you know you you want to be a little bit cautious about not resting your palm on the trackpad while you're typing and um, I think I, I, I don't know um, if that went through an actual test but I, I really just think the trackpad um, feels horrible like I said this is just my opinion and um, you might have a different um, opinion the webcam is horrible the trackpad um, is horrible of course I would like to guess that um, from them from that year they have increased or not increased I'd like to think that from that year they have changed um, the trackpad to you know something a little bit more compact or other um, designs or stuff like that but yeah for that particular year for that particular model bull crap now for the USB port it comes with three USB type C uh, ports um, Thunderbolt I would say that's nice except for the fact that one of the ports has to go for the charger I'm left with two and even if I use a hub on two sides I still feel one extra would have made all the difference I used a Zenbook Duos before this laptop and that was one of the things that annoyed me the most limited USB ports can't I just have at least two on both sides is that too much to ask for anyways it has one card reader which is good for we content creators you easily uh, pop in your memory card and uh, you know if you want to copy out or offload your camera on the go and of course your USB ports allows you to um, connect external display for the speakers I think it has an amazing sound um, it's it's really awesome and you could really punch out um, a good presentation in a small room if um, you have to for the screen size the screen this is a 15 inch um, screen and I think the screen is amazing uh, it's a 1080, 1080p um, screen it's amazing and there is a 4k variant but even with 1080p on this one, I think it's amazing. Um, the uh, bezels on, on, on the sides or whatever you call them, it's, it's really tiny. So you have you know, a whole lot of um, screen area um, to work with. The laptop is quite thin and the weight is really moderate. I haul this thing around quite easily and quite, um, you know, it's, it's carry friendly for me. I just toss it in my bag and I'm ready to go. And um, those are kind of like the little things I really want to tell you about the laptop. Um, by the way, I, I, I did mention I do you know, a couple of stuff, so I try to make sure my laptop can um, do quite a bit of um, work for me on the go. I can edit on the laptop, even 4K videos, yes. I'm able to um, edit um, B-roll files um, 4K moderately, uh, you know, and you know, it's completely fine. Um, most of my Adobe application, including After Effects, are all in here and I use them to work. And if I have to work extensively, of course, I move to my desktop, but the laptop is able to do a whole lot for me. I could do a little bit of 3D, I could do a little bit of Unity on there, I could do, you know, like as I said, After Effects and, you know, a couple of stuff. And the one thing that you really, really would love about the laptop is the design. It has, you know, a metallic um, chassis on the front and the back. I don't like that finish on the inside though. I don't know what to call that. It gets really messy with um, your thumb prints and your palm prints um, as you use them. And you have to constantly, you don't have to constantly wipe it. I just don't like it when I see my prints, you know, on there. I really love it nice and clean and stuff like that. In any case, um, it looks like one of those kind of laptops that you would really purchase and you know you're using for the next five years down the line and um, yes if you want to buy something you really want to make sure that you're buying something good something that can do the work for you this laptop hardly crashes on me so um, that's it for this um, um, quick review uh, I know it, I said it's quick and it's a couple of minutes out already um, I hope you got something from the video and I hope it's helpful to you if you have to make um, a purchase um, very soon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. This helps me to um, create more content. And um, until next time, adios.